that Nat House are doing. So I'm just going to say this straight. You know, in the Constitution, what it should be in the Irish Constitution is the right to a house. Everybody the souls who's an Irish citizen has a right to a house, has a right to a roof over their head. Um, and that's, you know, one of the basic human rights. Um, and in other countries like Finland have, obviously have it, a house and forest initiative. Um, you know, again, it's a right, not a reward. Over in this country, you could walk 24 hours a day, seven days a week, bust yourself. Um, and you still wouldn't be able to afford a house. It's just the way this country's gone. Um, and the banks, you know, again, the banks and the bondholders and the, you know, again, all these people. Um, they come in and just take your house. Simple as that, if you can't afford to pay it, they just come in and take your house. Great country. Um, no accountability. They could be in the wrong, the banks, you know, again, they could be in the wrong, the bondholders. They're allowed to just run around the, the stakeholders too. Allowed to just run around the country. No, no regulations. Mike D. Higgins, I just found this out. Um, Mike D. Higgins, I took back in March. Um, or sometime a few months ago signed in a law. Again, he signs everything that goes in front of him. He doesn't question it, he just signs it. You'd think he would say, no, bring him to the Supreme Court um, and get the Supreme Court. Because again, the way the president works, he could refuse. He could say, I utterly refuse to sign this. Bring to the Supreme Court and say it's illegal. Um, and that goes to the Supreme Court. And he can it could go back to him after the Supreme Court says it's legal. And he could say again, I refuse. And they go back to the... He can do it three times. He can do it three times just to perfect it as much as he can. But at the end of the day, when it goes to the tour time, um, he more or less is required, but again, he could say, again, no, I will refuse to sign it. Um, a few times it's happened, Mary Robertson, um, a few times Mary Robertson, things like that happened, was brought up a few recommendations, and he, she refused to sign them. She refused to sign them, got to the Supreme Court and everything like that. Um, again, he would he never done it. You take it with the white, you know, again. You take it, because again, this is the bondholders and the people, the bankers and things like that, the people who destroyed this country, it's in a great country. Um, the people who destroyed this country, they're allowed to just go off and we, we present, we present houses, we, you know, uh, you know, kick people out of the houses, basically take over the houses uh, or businesses and things like that, with God's support too, with the full backing of the state, isn't that great country, great country. Um, and again, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be evidence, again, it's something to do with, I don't know the full, um, um, I can't even think of it, but I, I only I watched the video on it. I can't think of the name of the channel now. God, I can't think of anything now. Um, but again, he did sign it because I remember this and I meant to talk about it, but forgot about it altogether. Um, again, when something happens, I should talk about it straight away and said forget because again, I forget about it. I really forget. Like I can't remember what what, what he signed in, but he signed in something to do with repossessions. The the goblin himself up in the hours. Um, again, great country, and he's supposed to be labour uh, for the walkers for the walking class. Um, again. In my high castle, isn't that right, Mikey D? In my high castle. Um, but again, you know, again, just goes to show you, no accountability to bondholders, no accountability to vulture funds. Um, that's the word I was looking for, vulture funds. They could just run around the place and the guard of protection and state, full state backing. Great country. Just great country. Um, brilliant, brilliant country. And just to say, too, when I'm talking about housing, um, you know the house minister, Dario, Dario O'Leary, isn't it? I think it is. Um, he's a friend of all, I can't think of his name. It, it probably, it probably, if I'm wrong, don't, don't quote me on it. But again, I, I realised that he voted in 2017 for, to, with the house to, uh, that, the right to housing bill. Um, he voted against it. He voted against it. Isn't that, it's a great country. It's a great, we have a minister for housing who voted against the right to housing bill. It's a great country, you know. It's just, ah, uh, you know, you honestly couldn't, make this up like honest to god you, uh, this this is clown world we have in this country because <laughs> a minister for housing who voted against the right to house like you know what what can you say like what can you what can you say honest to god what can you say <laughs> like you know you, you, you're trying to process that for a second um, and the process that Michael Higgins is, was a former member of the Labour Party and he voted, to get, he voted for people to be kicked out of the houses, walkers and things like that. To be kicked out of the houses and vulture funds to take over. Great country, isn't it? 